What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. That's right, you see it, I'm getting ready for St. Paddy's Day, right? Now listen, this is more like a, a traditional classic, you know, for St. Paddy's Day. But I promise you, those of you guys that uh, like that cabbage, you know what I mean? You guys that watched when I did that, you know, that Southern fried cabbage, you know, with that sausage and that bacon flavor and all of that. Listen, we gonna get close to that without the frying part, right? So we got the cabbage, we got that corned beef. Hey, listen, it's going down. Listen, this probably will, you know, make a part of you like your rotation, you know, super easy to make. It's, it's a great change to that same old, same old. And with that being said, I'm not finna over talk it. We finna get right into this. Okay, so look, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over these ingredients, right? As you can see, it's not a whole lot. You know, I got just my ingredients right here and then we're gonna be doing it in the crock pot, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start by just showing, look, here's the corned beef. This right here is about a three and a half pound. Yeah, right at three and a half pounds. Hey, listen, the work is already done. This piece of flat, this is the flat on a brisket already, you know, in the brine, it's already seasoned. This is easy, ready to go, right? Now, right here, we got a, I don't know, man, you know, like I said, you guys know that I was out there working in Texas, you know what I mean? So this would be like a, almost a small, but I'm gonna just say, hey, for the for the rest of the world, you know what I mean? This is just like, get yourself like a, a medium to a large uh, onion. Here we got three garlic cloves. I'm gonna show these, these are starting to get beat up. I got three bay leaves right here. Let's see, let me get them like this. Three bay leaves. I got three carrots. We just gonna, you know, like give them a chop. And then right here, I got potatoes, right? So this is about two pounds of potatoes. I actually weighed these, so it's just, it's just a tad bit over two pounds. Now, right here, listen, for the liquid, we gonna raise it up a notch, this right here, it's chicken stock, excuse me, chicken broth. Here it is right here. You know, I'm just using my local uh, store brand, Stater Brothers. That's this right here. And then I'm going to just show you, you know, this is the star. Listen, it can't be, you know, it can't be uh, corned beef and cabbage without the head, right? So listen, we're going to peel a couple of these layers back. And then we're going to chop these in chunks. This is very, very easy. I mean, it's super delicious and it's not gonna just be for St. Paddy's Day. You guys probably gonna put this in a rotation if you have not already had this together. And then of course, you guys can see right here, you know, I'm using my slow cooker. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my cabbage back into the refrigerator because listen, we don't need to, you know, cut this or do anything to it, you know, for about another, I'm gonna say for like the first, you know, couple hours, right? Okay. Now, since we got our chunks, right, we're just gonna lay these down here, just like this. Actually, you can just throw these in here. You know, all you need to do is make sure that you coat the bottom. Now, once you got the bottom coated, you know, just so that you can have a bed of onions, you know, for your, you know, for your brisket, right? Now, you just go ahead and open up your pack and you wanna put all of the content, contents in there, right? So that's all the, li the liquid, which is nothing but a brine, you know? So let's get this open and let's get this put inside. Okay, we got it open. Now I'm just gonna get it so that it'll slide out right on top, just like that. Now we'll just go ahead, make sure it's kind of like flat, just like you see it right there. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and get your magic, right? Instead of using water, you know what, I, like I say, this right here is a level up. We're gonna go ahead and use this chicken broth, right? So we're gonna go ahead and take it and just pour this over the top. Now this was two cups, right? You want it to like fully cover this. So it depends on how big your chunks are, how high it is up off the, you know, off at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more cause I want it to just cover the top of the corned beef. Now I just added another two cups. You know what I mean? I'm gonna just pour it in here and just see where we at. And then I'll give you guys a, like a measurement for what I have right here. So, you know what? We just gonna cover it all. Just pour it all in there. Hey, so let's just go ahead and just say, hey, four cups. Just because of the, the size of the chunks of onions that I had cut in here, right? So it, it'll vary. If you cut smaller, it'll be lower, so it'll take left, less. So what you'll see on the screen is, it'll say two to four cups of chicken broth. Now I'll take my garlic, I'm just gonna smash it, smash them all. And then what we wanna do is you just wanna peel them and then drop them in, just like that. So you'll see them, look, they open, just drop them in, but make sure you peel them, you know, like that. Now we'll add our bay leaves.
we'll put this lid on top and now we'll set the timer now I'm gonna address these you know about the uh, the carrots and the potatoes before I set the timer I just want to let you guys know that listen we gonna go ahead and cook this meat down at least three hours right after three hours into the cook then I'm gonna go ahead and chop these peel the clean and peel these and then we're gonna quarter them right and then we add it to the crock pot so i want you guys just you know so you know everything up front so you guys can just see it hey just super easy and you don't want everything to be too mushy right so you give the meat a three hour head start now i know this is brisket and i know the longer you cook it the more tender it'll be right so what we're gonna do is just we're gonna power this up i'm gonna put it on low cook and then i'm gonna set my time i said eight hours but we're gonna go eight and a half hours you know, that'll be good right there. This is just the initial time. Listen, then when we check the meat, if it's not tender enough, then we're gonna go just a little longer. So eight and a half hours, low start. Okay, look, it's been four hours, right? So now these have already been washed and clean. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just give these a rough chop. Then I'm gonna go ahead and peel these and we're gonna get them, you know, uh, cut these in quarters. Okay, you can see right here, I went ahead and just cut up, you know, the carrots. You want them about this size, right? And then, and then right here, look, you can see, I went ahead and just peeled them, right? And when I peeled them, I put them in the water just so they don't uh, brown. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, and what we're gonna do is, look, we're gonna quarter them. So I'm gonna just go like this. This is gonna be good for me. You guys can cut them in any type of shape you like. Go ahead and take it, your top off, and then we'll just start adding them. And the reason we're gonna keep them big because we don't want them to be mushy, right? Because listen, we, these gonna cook for a while. So we got those in. Now we'll add our carrots. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push them down so that they can be submerged. Oh yeah, this is gonna be real nice, you guys. Now, let's put some over here, just cause it look better. It doesn't really make a difference where we put them, but we want it to look just Hey, if you know anything about me, it's all about the way it look, right? So, we'll leave it like this. We'll put this top back on. We're coming up on six and a half hours in the crock pot, right? So remember, I said, look, two hours prior to it finishing, you wanna introduce your cabbage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, you can see like these dirty layers like this. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this layer. And then any other layer that I see that doesn't look too good, but fortunately, this is good. I've already washed it, but that looks good to me. What you wanna do is you wanna get yourself a sharp knife, right? We're gonna go ahead and cut this right on down, right on down the middle, right? So this, you know, you're gonna end up with two halves. Look, it's much easier to handle and cut wedges when it's flat, right? So this little piece right here, they call this like the heart. I'm just gonna take a, just a little bit of it out just a little bit just like that right now we're going to turn this over here like this and look we're going to do just like what it says we're going to cut some wedges so everything is going to cut towards the center so i'll just cut like this right that down we'll make a cut there doesn't have to be you know perfect you just want to get some good you know wedges pieces wedge pieces out of it and then what we're going to do is we're just going to introduce this to the crock pot let me cut this other half and then I'll show you. We'll just put it inside and then we'll just let it cook for the remainder. Now, my timer just went off and now I got exactly two hours, right? We got these cut just in time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take them like this and now we're just gonna set them in here like this. Look, it's gonna get pretty full. Remember, cabbage is like pretty much, man, it's probably like 80% maybe even 90% water, you know what I mean? Just a little bit of the structure, but it's mostly water. So we're just gonna get this in here like this, the best way we can. Then we can come back and take a look at it. We gotta add some more time to it, we can do that too. But you wanna make sure you can get your lid on so that it can steam. And don't forget, every time you take this top off of this crock pot, you know what, you gotta like remember, you gotta add a little bit more time. So put the top on, let it continue to cook, and we go from there. Okay, my timer just went off. Listen, we've been going for about eight and a half hours, right? I put my cabbage in. My cabbage been going for two hours. Hey, listen, so we good. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take this off. We're going to make some room. And what we're going to do is we're going to take 
you know, the corned beef, we're gonna take that out and then we're gonna put it on this pan right here and we're gonna let it rest for 15 minutes. Now, after letting it rest for 15 minutes, you can go ahead and slice it up as you see I'm doing right there. You can also shred it if that's what you like. I can tell you this too, it makes for a great sandwich, you know? So listen, all I'm doing right here, after I cut them, you know what I mean, I'm just gonna display them, but then it's time to go ahead and put them in a bowl or a plate or whatever. So I just put a couple of slices in this bowl right here, and now it's time to add that, you know, the, ca uh, the cabbage and the carrots, right? And then of course you gotta add some of that liquid right there. I'ma just go ahead and call this that liquid gold, cause I can tell you this, listen, it's moist and delicious. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. This is my entry for St. Patrick's Day. You know what, I don't even wanna, you know what, it is for St. Patrick's Day, but I just wanna say, listen, if you like cabbage, listen, this right here is just, hey, it's, it's super. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've been eating this, you know, getting ready to film this outro, you know? So listen, I done had a ton of it, you know, uh, hey, you know, I'm gonna give me just a little bit more, because everybody say they wanna see you eat, you know what I mean? But just cabbage and these potatoes and these onions is to die for. You wanna talk about soft and tender? Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna tell you this, listen, the key is, you know, a lot of times, if you've been following this channel, you know that anytime they say, you know, we are gonna put some water in, I'm gonna always substitute it for some type of, uh, you know, stock or broth, whether it's chicken or beef. Listen, that's a level up right there, folks. And so listen, take your St. Patrick's, you know, corned beef and cabbage and just raise it all the way up. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just say, hey, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.